Welcome back. More than 13% of people living in Oklahoma identify as part Native American or Alaska Native. But as Channel 8's Maureen Wirtz found out, Native American and Alaska Native women make up larger portions of some alarming statistics. All over places in Oldsmogee County, you can find pieces of the Muskogee Creek Nation's rich history. But along Highway 75, there's a message about their history they want everyone to know. Domestic violence is not our tradition. You guys, the slogan is, right, warriors honoring women. In a classroom at the college, Monty Randall and others are learning a new lesson to pass down. Families do it and it gets into that habit where it keeps going on. You gotta break that cycle. Every time I'm on 169, uh, I see the sign that you guys have up as well, uh, Warriors Honoring Women. Frank Coachman and Monty are part of the group Warriors Honor Women. It's part of the Muskogee Creek Nation's Family Violence Prevention Program. So, love is respect. Um, you know, there was a time where keeping silent, you know, don't get involved in private matters. You know, we're very private people, but that is not okay, and no one deserves to be abused or sexually assaulted. Tanya Barden works with victims of domestic abuse and sexual assault. She says she's worked here for 13 years, and there's a way of thinking this group is trying to stop. Maybe if she wouldn't have been walking out at dark or what she was wearing or drinking, and so we want to steer that to let's talk about why anyone would commit such a heinous act. They serve victims in 11 different counties here, but one startling fact, one in three Native American women are victims of sexual assault. According to a study done by the U.S. Department of Justice, Native American and Alaska Native women are twice as likely to be raped compared to white or African American women. They're also twice as likely to be physically abused by a partner. Over the last six years, the number of victims the Family Violence Prevention Program has helped has increased drastically. In 2009, they helped 54 victims, and in 2015, they helped 301. Any learned behavior can be unlearned. Um, it's just a matter of choice. Do we want to change that? She says change starts in the courtroom by holding offenders accountable. And since 2013, with the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, they can finally start holding non-native offenders accountable. I don't want to say that our laws or our state is trying to say, hey, go out and commit these crimes. We're not, but sometimes that's how offenders think, well, that's all that's going to happen. So they continue. They just become sneakier. But all agree, there is hope and the chance to break the cycle, starting with one word. Uh, respect. You know, I've seen on Facebook where somebody said that I'm old school because I respect. I refuse to believe that that's old school. We have to teach honor. We have Traditionally, warriors were to defend the tribe and the family. These men say they're continuing that tradition, but are fighting a different battle. Maureen Wirtz, Tulsa's Channel 8. If you'd like to volunteer to be a part of Warriors Honor Women, head to our website and we have all that information for you.